Hey guys, I just want to say, as a friendly reminder, remember my videos serve to entertain and educate. It's okay to disagree with the statements made as long as they encourage constructive discussion. Just remember, everyone is human, everything is a work in progress, and most importantly, if you don't enjoy what you're currently watching, then it's probably not for you. Now, without further issue or delay, let's get on with the show. Welcome kings, queens, and jacks to another meeting. I am your Empress Harmony and this court is now in session. Let's start with events. For the C9 patch notes of December 13th to the 20th, C9 wishes us a happy holiday. Their staff has been replaced by happy fun-loving elves. Maybe cave trolls since from what I hear many are sporting the haven't shaved since January but these little elves have sent out various codes to their media partners for you to find, claim, and redeem on your WebZen account. Of course, there's bonus W coin to be had for those of you who like topping up. 30% extra from the 13th to the 20th, and 40% extra from the 20th to the 27th. Also, all holiday, there will be various winter events, so keep an eye peeled on the events page. I think the biggest thing to talk about is their holiday competition. Share it to their Facebook page any breathtaking moment from any of their games. Uh, maybe it's a gorgeous freaking screenshot, hand-drawn artwork, or hell, maybe you baked a cake in the shape of your freaking character. Or maybe you recorded some epic boss fight showing you got the skills to pay the bills. Whatever it is, there are many prizes to be won for showing off. What would be what would be the season also without some cash shop sale offers on special skill books, happy winter gear now including the mystic, a new diamond chest with more valuable loot, and of course enhanced materials for those who'd rather break the bank than break their gear. Moving on to the meat of events though, it's time to go back to the dimensional fisher. From December 13th to January 3rd, once a day by talking to the event manager, you can receive a ticket to an event dungeon. There are, four, there are four, Dimensional Fissure, Bang Turmoil, Evil's Hideout, and The Archery. Be aware there is a level requirement to enter Dimensional Fissures. The Archery and Evil's Hideout require their prerequisite quests to be complete. Also, the event seems account-wide. Pick up the three event tickets on one tune, and you're able to account stash it to others. Moving right along, accompanying these random dungeons from December 13th to the 27th, you can participate in the special quest for skill books. Talk to the event manager and he'll ask you to clear 10 dimensional fissures, defeat dimensional bosses, and get the 6 continent perfect book of your class. The book chest you get only contains perfect books from the first half of the Raven continent. To the reason you should make an alt, drag a friend to the game, or make a damn alt guild because you just feel like being self-sufficient and you got money to throw, is the All Extra Holiday Event. Receive 200% more experience and artisan experience, 100% guild points, an extra stage clear key, and a survival conquer chest giveaway. To my cash shoppers from December 13th to the 20th, those who purchase 100 times gold coffer bundles will have a chance to win unique earrings, Gross's Faith. Some things to note, the event is account wide, not character, only 3 winners and all rewards will be given after the December 27th maintenance. Now with events out of the way, let's talk about notices. C9 has been nominated in MMO's Reader Choice Awards in the category of Favorite Action MMO. Cast your vote, link in the description. Should C9 win, they'll bring back the Explore the Dimensional Fissure and Bang Turmoil events, along with some other bonuses. Voting is open until the 20th, and you can vote every day, once a day, for multiple games. Finally, to two big notices I want to address before we close out. First and foremost, let's address the elephant with a gun lance in the room. Since she came out, she's been a thorn, or rather a rocket barrage, in people's sides, at least when it comes to PvP. We are talking about the Valkyrie, yes. To those who aren't aware, on October 21st, she received a balance adjustment in PvP. You guys talk and web then listen. Not only, was her PvP not only were her PvP elements touched, 
but a few PvE things as well. Just to give you a brief taste, her Photon Cannon had armor removed from the first and last motion. The motions in between received semi-super armor, Fast Moving had a damage reduction, and Backstep had its stun removed, cooldown increased, as well as a bump up in MP consumption. For further details, refer to the link in the description. Finally, to those who've reached endgame and continue to stomp on 6 continent baddies, but want to really push their capabilities, well WebZen has got something for you. Introducing the Chaos Spire, a 6 person dungeon that goes beyond Master, beyond Hell, and crushes Nightmare. This is an extreme Raven stage. First and foremost, in order to even set foot into the 7th level of Hell, you need to be level 70, clear an expert or master dungeon on the 6th continent, defeat the boss, and the re open the rewards box to get a Chaos Fire piece, or pieces, depending on your RNG. It takes 25 of these pieces to make a Chaos Fire invite at the Portal Mage under the Exchange Extreme Invitation option. HOWEVER! WebZen highly recommends you find a party. No, my dear friends, there is no solo in this bad boy. Make sure everyone has an invitation. Enter and prepare to suffer as you face three bosses. I won't get into the details, that'll be a separate video, or you can go and find it, the link in the description and read it for yourself. But I hope your gear is tight, those enhancements are high, and you're ready to die multiple times. The rewards, however, include new skill books, one effect change, and one buff slash debuff book for each class. Sealed Book of Chaos, Chaos Accessories, which are used in combo to create Jin Chaos Accessories. And of course, various general valuables and even rare perfect master and epic equipment parts. There's also a note about Night Stalker skill books. So my Witchblade sisters, and those generally interested in what the dungeon will bring, check out Zimmy. We are finally done. I hope I gave you enough information for a full course dinner of excitement. Of course, if anything wasn't clear enough, always refer to the links in the description. Have fun action as kicking demonic butt for Glenheim. And, I, and I'll see you out there. Court is adjourned, and with sugar, kisses, and hugs, I'll see you next time. Ciao!